In this video, we'll understand compare commands. Now, if you remember, we have done comparison using LD equivalent to, LD greater than equivalent, LD less than equivalent, or like that. Or we have used the operators. But we have a standardized compare command which says it is used to compare data between two sources, data or any information between two sources. So now, if you see the syntax here, I'll zoom it a little. It is ldx1 this is the input x1 cmp k10 d10 and y0 so here the two sources are first comparison values k10 second comparison values d10 and result is y0 so if you write this comparison uh, instruction like that what will happen it says if k10 is greater than d10 now d10 value you can put it by yourself or you can take it from some sensor or you can take it from HMI. So if this value is greater than this value, then Y0 will be on. This is by default. Okay, You don't have to write out Y0 or set Y0. It will be on by itself. If these two values are equivalent, K10 is equivalent to D10, then Y1 is on by itself. If this value is less than D10, Y2 will be on. All right. So let's try this instruction and see what will happen. This is a comparison. CMP, all right. So I'll type LTX1. It's my first input. CMP, K10, D0, Y0. That's it. I don't need these pointers. Let me go download. See the results. So if you see the trainer, initially, K10 is greater than D0, which is K0. So your output is on, Y0 is on. As I told you, if K10 is greater than D10, now D10 in our case we are taking D0, which is by default 0, so 10 is greater than 0, so Y0 is on. So now let me change the value. Hold on a second. I'll just resize it. Like that. Now what I'll do is, I'll change the value of D0. Let's make it equivalent to K10. So I'll put K10. And if I press OK, you can see X1 is Y1 is on. I haven't written Y1 anywhere in the program, but it is on because this is what instruction says. Let me hold on. Okay. Now I'll go back here. If I again make it K9. So again, K10 is greater than K9, my Y0 is on. So at K10, this is equivalent, Y1 is on. If I make it greater than K10, then Y2 will be on. Okay, this is the case. This is how comparison instruction works. You have to compare the value. Okay, so you can only have three results, either less than or equivalent to or greater than. So this is the compare instruction. This is what it says, CMP. So if you have some kind of comparison to show the level, whether it is low or medium or high, you can do like that, okay? Here we have used ZRST to reset the comparison result. If you want to reset the value, you can use Z ZRST or you can manually reset Y0, Y1 or Y2, okay? You can reset the value. If you want, I can just type this command, type this command here as well. I'll take LTX4. ZRST. Now ZRST is zone reset. If I'm writing, writing ZRST Y0 to Y2, it means it will reset the value from Y0 to Y2. That's like that. So I'll go online again, just for the demonstration. This is the trainer. So value is less than zero. If I want to reset that, I'll turn off X1. First, I'll turn off X1 and press X4. This will reset my Y0. If you turn on X1, it will start comparing. Okay, so this was the compare instructions. Now the next is similar to that. We have zone compare, ZCP. Previous was CMP, just compare. Now it's zone compare. It says it is used to compare data between two sources. Again, two sources, but now in a zone. Let's see example. It says, let me zoom it a little. Yeah, this is LDX1, ZCP, K10. K100, C10, and M0. Now this is a counter. It could be a data register as well, right? Now this is zone compare. It will compare the zone. This is a zone. Minimum value and maximum value 10 to 100 is a zone with the comparison value C10 and result is in M0. You can also have Y0 here. It's up to you. So it says if the value of C10 is less than minimum value, which is K10, 
if the value of c10 is less than k10 m0 is on the initial initialization this bit will be on okay if the value of k10 the value of c10 is between the minimum and maximum value suppose if this is 0 or if it is 5 which is less than k10 m0 will be on if this value is 10 or between these two it could be 50 or 99 or 100 m1 will be on if this value is greater than this zone then m2 will be on it's very simple so i'll drag it here and instead of that i'll write zcp right minimum is k10 maximum is k100 comparison is d0 and result is y0 okay so let's try that now we have a zone here okay now initially this is zero i'll turn on x1 so this is less than the minimum value so y0 is on okay now let's change this d0 if you make it k5 still y0 will be on because k5 is less than minimum k10 if you make it k10 y1 is on because this is now in the zone if the value remains in the zone y1 will remain on this is now 66 if the value is equivalent to maximum value of the zone again it will be remain on the moment value increases the zone value the output will be on so this is again and uh, can be an application to show the level if it is low or in the range or if it is high so you can compare that with the zone all right and this value can be the value coming out from the ultrasonic sensor if it is measuring the analog value of the level analog representation of the level all right so this was about compare instructions in delta plc i hope you understand it if you have any doubt put me a comment thank you